If you are like me and you are a Sim Dynasty guy, watching CPU versus CPU Dynasty games is essential. And today I'm going to show you how to watch CPU games in your Dynasty. These are teams that you are not controlling and you are just a spectator watching their games play through. Now, they said this wasn't in the game, but this is actually in the game and it, it is just a little bit of a thing to find but it is easy to do so we are here in in blank lsu offline dynasty and a caveat this is only available for offline dynasties only so if you have an online dynasty you cannot do this so in the old ncaa football games you would go to the schedules here and hit a and basically what you would be able to do is play the game or force a win but here in college football 25 you have to go through some extra steps so here i am as lsu i have a bye week because it's conference championship week and i go over to the settings and members tab here and then i have the option to create a new character now I want to show this in an online dynasty. So we do have the same settings here. You go over to members, but this time Y or triangle is invite members. So a little bit different if you are online and when you click that button, you can see you can you have the options for gamer tag or invite member and that is not what you are able to do uh offline so offline you can create a character and what that does is it brings up this you know select your team screen when you first started the dynasty and what you would do is go over to the team you want to watch so let's just say i want to watch the sec championship georgia versus oklahoma i go through the create a coach stage i select the active coach so that nothing changes with the program i sign the contract i go into the dynasty as if i'm starting a dynasty with them and here i am at this screen as if i am now controlling the georgia bulldogs so i go to the play now screen i cannot hit left or right to move the controller over you're pretty much controlling them but i will show you how to not control them in the game so you start your game you hit ready the game loads up as if you are going to start the game but don't worry you can watch this game fully and have no control over what happens you basically will just have to go to uh super sim which i will show you in a second but here is the sec championship i am not participating in this at all i am lsu and i just want to watch how this sec championship plays out so what you're going to do is hit the left thumbstick in or go to the start menu and go down to super sim now important note here you have to hit x to go over to super sim speed where you have fast which allows you to simulate fast normal which is just the normal speed or slow so you want to make sure when you hit x or box on a uh, ps5 you are set at slow and then from there you go to jump ahead and you have the options but to watch the full game here you go to end of game and when you click on that that's it no more messing around you're watching as if you are a spectator watching the game and here is a broadcast view of the game i can watch this game play out and not have any control over the outcome i'm basically just watching it as if it was a real life game cpu versus cpu and that is pretty much it so now when this game plays out what you can do and i will show you in a little bit is just not control this team anymore but for sim guys like me this is essential and i do want to highlight once again this is available in offline dynasties not in online dynasties and if you're a guy like me i like to play offline because a i don't like to rely on servers to in order to play my saves and b i like to back up my saves in offline dynasties you can make multiple saves of a dynasty just in case something happens and you have the ability to do this this is a big advantage of going offline you can watch cpu games play out so at the end of this game you know the game's over georgia and oklahoma wins it really doesn't matter we go over to the dynasty central tab again scroll down to retire this time so what this does is it removes the control over georgia and like i said you need to select the current head coach so you don't mess with anything and then you just hit yes to confirm and now you are back with your original team in this example 
it was LSU. So those are the quick steps to watch a CPU versus CPU game in your dynasty. I hope this helped you. And obviously, if you're thinking about starting a new dynasty, I would actually suggest if you're just doing a solo dynasty to do an offline so that you have this ability in your you know, dynasty game. So that's going to do it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe. I have a Marshall Dynasty on my channel. If you're interested, check that out. But other than that, I'll see you next, next time. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. Have a great day.